What's up everyone, Konat here, and I'm bringing you my first solo commentary of Resident Evil 4. And since this is my first, I am kinda nervous, you know. But, before we get going, I just wanted to address one problem with starting uh, the beginning. The um, cutscenes will be desynced until we get to, like, the village, somewhere in that area. Then I get normal FPS, so sorry about that. But besides that, that won't stop me. So, starting our journey on normal, Resident that should be good. I guess I'll just let this cussing roll up. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Ah, good old Umbrella. Always doing something. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Courtney, why am I the one who always gets me short in the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty desynced. Once again, sorry about that. Not much I can do to fix it. But it should be pretty okay early later on. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Me on out. And so starts our journey. And so I know if you shoot one of these crows, I think this this one, it would drop a spinel. So that's always good to know. One bullet for a gem. I call that fair. Into the house, I guess. The mysterious villager. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Well, I guess we got him back, so... Well, that was actually fairly simple. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. And he dropped ammo. Actually, this is the first time he dropped anything for me in all of my playthroughs. He's not a zombie. Something is burning in fire, but I cannot tell what it is. Something was burning, obviously. Quite evidence. Something like that. More ammo. More ammo is always good, so I'll take all of it. Hopefully these people won't be too hard to take down. One down, and I cannot turn for some reason. <laughs> I do not know how I missed those. Okay, I must have really bad aim. But, at least we survived it. Uh. 
more boxes with monies. It's always another good thing to have. And I'll just save here too. Why not? I don't really care about my rating at the end. I'll just take the saves and start over. On to the village. Or on to close to the village. So I know one of these birds, this one, has a grenade. Which will also be very useful. Wait, I can check this. Looks like a warning of some sort. I have a bad feeling about this. And we'll just help the dog, or wolf, whatever it is. Since he will help us later in the future. That's a nice bear trap right there. I'm actually going to see if I can drag this guy over here into the dynamite. I mean, it would save me a bullet or two. So that's always handy. If not, oh well. Actually, is he coming? He is! Oh, what an idiot. He dropped 800 monies. Always good. Bad is not ammo. Maybe another healing item. But we are actually pretty good on health. Not no damage taken, so we'll call that win-win. Do another house. Speaking of healing, there's an herb right there. And a grenade. She never got him. That grenade, uh, the fire grenade here. Well, that's gruesome. Guess there's no sex dis- uh, whatever. Here. Better find her fast. Indeed, Leon. So, book it. Well, that was two and one right there. That was actually pretty good. One bullet for two people? Not bad. And they actually dropped something for me. Always wondered if they, these people right here, could just jump down if you wait long enough or something. I highly doubt it though. But it would be cool. They implemented that. And right here is the spot I was talking about earlier. So right here, I, we should have normal FPS or no desynced cutscenes. So. I mean, it's pretty odd. That only the beginning part is pretty much desynced all the time. Not smooth FPS, which is 30. But this part and forward Leon, is pretty good. Up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Playing manual. Reloading kicks. Changing inventory screens. Got it. All basic stuff right there, so. And we can just take a look right here. See what's up. Normal people doing normal stuff besides that. Right there. I mean, I guess that could be normal, but... I guess there's one of the cops right there. I wonder what happened to the other cop, his partner. 